For some with disabilities, the devices that they need to help with their everyday tasks may not even exist yet. A center at Utah State University is dedicated to helping invent those solutions, and now they say 3D printing is making even more of those things possible. New specialist Mike Anderson explains how. Mike, this is pretty neat. Yeah, pretty cool thing, Danny and Mike. You know, it's called the Utah Assistive Technology Program, or UATP. And, you know, basically people can come there and find out which devices may help them in everyday life. And if they don't exist, they'll basically invent them. And they say that 3D printing is helping them push that even further. The ability to be independent is huge for Shawnee Christensen. And sometimes even speaking through her muscular dystrophy can be a challenge. It has been really helpful, but when it breaks. But the device that's been helping her now is unlike some of the other things she's used for years. This mechanical arm was made just for Christensen and her specific challenges and reach. People come to me with something that's never been seen before. Dan O'Crowley is the assistive technology coordinator here at UATP. He uses his engineering skills to create new solutions for all kinds of people. Usually they're making it here because they've kind of exhausted the regular solutions and they say we have no idea what else to do next. And that was Christensen some weeks ago. Now she's used that arm so much that it broke. It's why O'Crowley is now making a better and stronger one. Can recharge it and pop it back in. It's made with some improvised existing parts, like a drill battery, and then there's the parts that need to be created. She has absolutely loved this. And 3D printing has made this and thousands of other parts possible here, greatly expanding what the folks here can do for others. When I see someone using it and they love using it, that's what's rewarding to me. That's when I feel like, hey, 10 out of 10 on that one. And tonight, Christensen says she can't wait until she gets the next upgraded version of her little piece of independence. I used to pick things up with a hanger and a broom, but I wanted a similar weight, so I'm so excited to see what they do. I feel it's going to be blessing to more people than just me. And the Utah Assistive Technology Program uh, is free. The labor there is free. The clients pay for the actual devices and parts, but they say with you know, 3D printing, they can make parts for sometimes only pennies. We'll have a link to their website on our website, ksltv.com. Back to you. That is a 10 out of 10. Yeah, it is. Nice story, Mike. <laughs> Thanks.